Who eats who eats stuff like this? Why do we have to put this on stuff anymore? Don't be stupid. Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you all for being part of it. And for everybody that showed up in a live chat Sunday night, thank you very much. It's very enjoyable. Today, we are going to do, this is an in-between video. Uh, we're doing a box opening. Uh, I wait until I get three or four at a time and people send stuff uh, to help out with the channel. And I always like to bring their names up because I think it shows appreciation and I really enjoy that. Stay in there at the end of this video. Because also the people that have bought the uh, Slade shirts, there's this one and then yeah, that's all three of them. I appreciate that. And to show appreciation for that, you will see I'm going to do a quick slideshow at the end of this video with people that have bought them and sent photos to me. That was very nice. Thank you also for the donations, folks. Okay, let's get started. All right, so one thing that is not wrapped up that I will show you that was kind of hand-delivered because uh, Dino Stiles, a friend of mine, had this already in Pennsylvania at somebody's house. It's a long story, so this is why that's not wrapped. It was hand-delivered, which was really nice. If you remember in a previous video, I showed you the Kadron setup that uh, Dino had donated to the stroker motor. These are really nice. They were already taken apart and cleaned very well and set up. I can't believe he sponsored and donated this to the project. Wow, these are nice Dino. I call them Dino, you know, the Dino. Yes, that video, that was really cool. Uh, he also gave me the complete setup for the Kadron linkage. That is like original. Kadron stuff. What a nice setup. A little baggie there with all the little trinkets inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to have to buy that, which was not a big deal. I appreciated him donating the carburetors, but he donated also an original Kadron. I don't know if it's Kadron or Kadron. I say Kadron because I think it sounds better. The complete linkage setup. Thank you, Dino Styles. I really, really appreciate that very much. I'd like to start that soon, even on the floor. I think that'd be a fun video. Thank you, Dino, for the linkage, and also, of course, for the carburetors. But thank you so much for the linkage setup. That was very nice of you. Okay, next. Now, some of these are going to be from companies, okay? Now, this one here is not a member, okay? This is Vever sent me this. I forget what this is now, to be honest with you. But it has a nice case. Let's get rid of the box. I thought I hit Heather's truck. Okay. Oh, okay. I remembered now. I, I couldn't remember until I seen it. This is nice. We have a half inch digital torque wrench. I really, oh my goodness. I'll definitely try this out in a couple days. I'll actually compare it. They gave me batteries, came with everything. One of these do not eat packs, that's what I call them. Who eats, who eats stuff like this? Why do we have to put this on stuff anymore? Don't be stupid. Okay, there's uh, adapters in here from half inch, <clears throat> half inch to three eighths. And it looks like half inch to three eighths again. Oh, I'm sorry, one's quarter inch. <laughs> this is nice. I like the digital. I gotta hold this pretty far out to get it on the camera, but it doesn't look hard to use. Tough tools, half price. I'm gonna try that soon. I never had a beeper one yet. I can't usually afford them. So I'm sure when you're tightening, it's a beeper, it's not a clicker. So when you're tightening it, you know, doot, that's what it'll do. So it sounded pretty cool, didn't it? Okay, thank you, Vever. Uh, this one here, I apologize. I did slice open and peek because I'm a child and I have no self-control. That is why. This is from Casey, and I won't say his last name. He lives about uh, eight minutes from me. And he's the one that we did the disc brake conversion on for in a spindle drop. There you go. You got it now. <laughs> That's my money. This is it, boys. <laughs> Making dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, that guy. 
and he had given me this just a tiny while back, but I wanted to wait till I had everything together. And this is from Casey. This is his contribution from him and his wife, Lauren, for Chaos, the 68. And what is this? Little tags on there, a VW cup holder. And it goes in where the ashtray goes, which is so cool because I don't smoke. So I quit 15 years ago, but this is nice. Thank you, Casey. Thank you so much. There it is up close. And VW cup holder. It is handmade by Weber Garage. If you would like one, go to www.webergarage.com. <laughs> Should have been a DJ. He gave me a sticker for the window. I guess you know about Punch Buggy. Yeah. No punch backs. <laughs> I'm going to put that on a dash. So Heather sees it. She's ornery. Thank you, Casey and Lauren. Thank you so much. That was very, very sweet. This is from... This is from Kelso. This was the donation of the labor and parts of the stroker motor. And yes, from Save the V-Dub. And honestly, I'm not sure what's in here. Ooh. I know what this is. Oh, man. Make sure there's something else to it. This is actually on your Kdron linkage setup for the dolls. See where it says Kdron? See what this is? He sent me a chrome center to the linkage. Wow, that's nice. That's going to look good on the motor. No doubt. Thank you. I know it was childish. Shut up. For the Kdron setup. How cool is that? Thank you very much. Wow, this thing like brand new. Oh, okay. He sent me the 34 millimeter. Yep, there's the other one. 34 millimeters for the Kadrons. And trees. There's the 34s ready to be dropped in to the Kadrons. This motor should run really, really nice. From what I understand, the Kadrons, Kadrons, you don't have to mess with them. You set them and go, and you're good for a long time. So thank you so much. These are all ready to go in. Wow, that's nice. He sent me some patches. Nice. And some stickers. And no, nobody's getting any of them. I'm keeping them. These are nice. Save the V-dubs. Thank you, Randy. And as I said, save the V-dub. And my daughter actually did this logo for Randy. Which was very sweet of her. She's an artist. So look in the description down below, and there's a reason. My daughter does a lot of artwork, so if you need anything done, a beautiful print of your car or anything, please get in touch with her. And he told her, most people wouldn't do this, probably hard to see, she signed it. Do you know why? Because Randy Kelso is a stand-up guy, that's why. This I actually bought myself, but this is a thread checker. And I'm sure a lot of you folks have used these at the store. But when you get to find out what size is this nut, what size is this bolt, and I'll show you it up close in a second. There's coarse, fine, eight millimeter by one, eight millimeter by one and a quarter, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, all the way up to 14. Thank you, Slade. That was weird. I am weird. It's okay. Okay, we have a Vever package. I know what this is, but I'm not going to tell you. Ooh, nice carrying case, and it is a buffer. Wow, they gave me all the pads. Nice. Nice, nice. Like a wool pad. Don't know. I'm not a professional buffer guy. Some kind of black foam pad. Orange. Another black white. I guess they all mean something. I buffed cars years ago, but it's been a while. And these are, I know what these are, batteries. They gave me two of them. There are 20 volt. I got two batteries, charger, a couple soft cloths, microfiber. I don't buy them that much. I take Heather's. <laughs> this is actually nice. We'll see how long that 
batteries last in it. Oh, and it's uh, variable speed. See if it... Hmm. Down to one. We will definitely try this out. It's actually not that heavy. I mean, a little bit. A little bit on the heavier side. But it has the battery on it, so you don't have to drag a cord around. So if you're outside doing your vehicle, you don't got to worry about taking an extension outside with you. Okay, now we have another one off to the side. And we have something from Ken Kitley, one of the club members that uh, has been a really great part of the community. Uh, here's what all he does. And if you need anything done, his email is in the description below. Uh, he does really nice work. Now, he donated this. If you remember, Heather and I were in VW Trends Magazine, which Dan, the owner of it, had did an interview with me and Heather, and it was very nice. I love VW Trends. I really do. I'm so glad he brought the magazine back. This is from the article from VW Trends. It's hard for me to do it myself here, but you get the idea. Thank you, Ken. I'm going to get the, they have a black plastic frame my buddy Ben Reynolds had uh, used on his. As you can see up close, I'm doing the best I can. That is crystal clear. Look at the, look at the font. The print on it is very, very clear. So if you do need something done by him, the quality is amazing. Well, this was fun. I really, really enjoyed that. I, it isn't about what I can get off of people. It's the kindness from them in their heart to send stuff. Uh, it was just very, very nice of everyone. What I got coming next is a diesel heater, so I don't freeze my butt off. Now, if you recall, last year I went ahead and installed a, uh, an electric heater. I put a 220 line in, and it works good. It looks like this right here. And don't get me wrong, this thing will heat the garage up. It definitely will. I have no complaints about it. I'll run that with the diesel heater to get the garage warmed up. And then what I'll do is put the diesel heater down this end of the garage and I'll run that. As soon as the garage gets to like 60 degrees, because that's about where I like it, then I'll shut the electric one off and let the diesel one take over. This is the one that they did send me. It's en route right now. And... I think it'll definitely do a fine job. Works off of Bluetooth. I can kick it on from the house and have it run and warm the garage up. So thank you, Vever. That's on its way. We're going to test it out before anybody buys one. And no, I don't get a commission on it or anything crazy. Uh, we'll go ahead and check it out. I'll show you the installation and the whole schmeal. And then we'll see how it works. Uh, they're supposed to do a nice job. They make a smaller one for RVs and that where you can put them in beetles too. So we'll check that out. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do a member slideshow. And for all of you that buying the t-shirts, sweatshirts, all that, you know, hoodies, thank you so much. That really helps with the channel and it helps other people meet each other at the meets. That has happened a lot. I've been finding out where somebody has a shirt on, they look, there's a Slade shirt. Next thing you know, they didn't know they lived near each other and they made new friends. True story. Ask Adam Gray or Darren Waugh. Kevin Elliott uh, and his wife April. There's quite a few. I'm like amazed by all this, how it's pulling people together. Let's watch it. I'll be right back.
and check this t-shirt out. I didn't want to wear it in the garage. I did not want to get this dirty. I actually wore it out at the store the other day. Air Suckers Garage. That's my buddy Adam Gray. And he has a YouTube channel, of course, with that name. And he sent me a really nice t-shirt. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Adam. I got to tell you, you folks are awesome. You really are. Uh, this is not about receiving gifts, but uh, some have reached out and sent things in. And I really appreciate it. I think it's such a kind gesture. And also the t-shirts. That's amazing. You folks take time out to take photos of yourself. And I'm sure there's hundreds and hundreds out there that aren't seeing my post who do buy them. Feel free to always send them to me. I really, really had a great time doing this video. Uh, it kind of personalizes the channel to show we are a strong community. So thank you everybody so much. I will see you Friday and lots coming up. Of course, we got to stay on the body work so we can get that knocked out and then move to the interior. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for taking part in the Sunday night live chats at 9 p.m. Eastern. I hope everybody has a really great rest of your week.